yo welcome back to our channel so you guys as you can see we are learning how to make a fat that sauce from the very very beginning so if this is looking like something you think you're interested in just make sure you watch to the very end so as usual the full list of ingredients is going to be in the description box so make sure you check it after you are done with the video so we are going to start by boiling our offals offals are also known as inter intestine they are also known as tinuero for people that speak yoruba they are known as what else what else what else what do you call this in your language so we're going to boil this and we're also going to be adding some pomo to this we're going to be seasoning um the offals with salt with some seasoning cubes and then with onions as well you guys this is a local sauce this is a local sauce no curry no thyme please don't add curry and thyme to this too now you're going to add some water and we're going to cover this and leave this to boil okay so while this is boiling hmm you guys i'm going to show you guys what the pepper mixture for of father sauce of other sauce is basically a pepper sauce you don't need tomatoes for this sauce and it's basically a combination of tatashe that is the real bell pepper right and then the shombo that is the cayenne pepper the long one those long ones they call shobo shobo shombo or bawa and then atarudo that is the scotch bonnet pepper and of course onions as much as you want right we are going to roughly chop these peppers like i said before no tomatoes so you're going to get a processor or if it's a mortar that you have, it's a blender that you have, just make sure you roughly chop this. Don't let it be too smooth, okay? So that you can have that, you know, that nice of how that look. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? So I'm using this processor like yam powder, but you can basically just use whatever it is that you have. So this is the texture you want to aim at. So it looks rough, it is not smooth at all. Now we are done. Now that we are done with our peppers, we are going to set this aside and we are going to check up on our meat. Okay. <laughs> So you guys, you know offer that sauce cannot be complete without boiled eggs. So here's a quick tip for you. So before you drop those eggs in the stew, just get a fork and then poke some holes in the egg. This way, the pepper will enter very, very well. And of course, it's going to come out very, very tasty. So you're going to set that aside. Now let's check up on our boiled assorted. We it is ready at this point it is ready we've been boiling this for about 20 minutes we're going to set this aside and then cut the assorted into some smaller smaller sizes you guys the beauty of a father or father sauce is that when you're taking rice with the sauce you are you know scooping up um some chunk of meat so it's like you're eating the rice you're also eating the chunk of meat at the same time it is really really nice <laughs> so so just cut your assorted and any other protein you're going to be using into smaller chunks and set it aside now we're going to start cooking get your pot on medium meat and add some palm oil we are going to be bleaching this palm oil and the best way to do this is just to cover your pot and then leave it to bleach away on its own and when it is ready okay you are going to turn off the heat you won't open the cover just leave the cover like that right and then when it's cool you can now open it up this is like the best way to bleach your palm oil without without the old smoke thing <laughs> in your house right so at this point it's ready it's looking like vegetable oil at this point can you guys see that it's looking very white looking almost like vegetable oil now we are going to start by frying the assorted first you must not miss a step hmm I don't know how to explain it but you just must not miss this step because it's going to add a lot of flavor to the stew it's going to add a lot of flavor to the meat itself it's going to add some aroma to the entire thing to the oil and all of that so make sure you don't miss this point this step <laughs> sorry guys all right so we're gonna fry this in the oil for about um 10 to 15 minutes and we are going to take it off it and then set it aside and continue cooking in the same oil that we used to fry the meat so what i basically just did now was just to change pot i just switched pots i didn't want to use the other pot so i prefer to use this one right now we are going to add some onions in that oil that bleached oil that we just used to fry our meat you're going to add some onions and the one of the secrets or the magic ingredients of any of other sauce you guys should know what i'm talking about already <laughs> yes 
locust beans you guys locust beans locust our final sauce is not complete without locust beans locust beans aka you right so just get this from your local market and then add it in and then fry it together with the onion and the oil by this time your neighbors should be knocking on your door because <laughs> the aroma of this sauce should be literally everywhere so you're going to fry this and then you're going to add your peppers the one we um roughly chopped earlier you're going to add your pepper in at this point our sauce is almost ready to go <laughs> Okay guys, I know some of you right now will be like, ah, this spicy, this is pepper, this is plenty pepper. Mm -mm, it is not because you know we didn't blend a lot of um, atarodo. Atarodo Scott Bennett pepper is the hot one, right? Um, real bell pepper and shombo, they are not hot at all, they are very very mild. So if you're gonna make this sauce, make sure you add more of the red bell pepper, more of the shombo, and then a little bit of the ataro dough, depending on how hot you want your stew to be. So it's not peppery at all. <laughs> Alright, we're going to add some seasoning cubes, right? You remember from the beginning of the video, I told you guys this is not a local, this is a local stew. No curry, no thyme. So we are sticking to just the basic um ingredients seasoning cubes salt and then plenty crayfish powder be generous with it this is not you don't you can't be stingy with crayfish powder for this sauce you have to be very generous so add as much as you can okay so now we're going to cover this and then leave this to cook for about 10 minutes before we then come back and then add some water in or meat stock i have some leftover meat stock from a previous recipe so i'm going to just add it in but you can use water if that is what you have you're going to just um, cover this as well and then leave this to boil again <music> going to pour back the meat that we fried in earlier can you guys see how yummy is looking already if you have some smoked chicken you can pour it in if you had if you have some um wicked animals <laughs> you can pour it in whatever protein that you have at this point you can just pour it in and then leave this to slowly simmer for another extra 10 to 15 minutes Oil police you people should look away please <laughs> This is offer that sauce and for you to make the authentic offer that sauce oil has to be floating on top of it like it has to be dancing happily on top of it like this so just look away <laughs> okay if this is your first time on this channel you are welcome on board my name is Justin, and my mission is to help you become a better home cook so please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this thank you so much guys for watching today's video and tell me guys what do you guys want us to make next in our next video just drop your suggestions in the comment section thank you guys bye